Corbet Graphic Design. At Corbet Graphic Design, the value to the customer is number one in considering the project. Uh, Corbet Graphic Design with Norman Corbet at the helm has been uh, really helping me with my website, VideoGamersOasis.com. He's stripping it down the old, building up the new, and turning it into a very professional looking website. I highly recommend if you need high quality graphic design and website design, CorbetGraphicDesign.ca. This has been a paid 30 second video ad for one of my patrons. If you would like a 30 second video ad at the beginning, middle or end of my new videos, become a $25 patron at www.patreon.com forward slash Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater. Hey gamers, welcome back to Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater. I'm your host, Amiki, back with another walkthrough of Ben Jordan, Paranormal Investigator, case number seven, The Cardinal Sins. Let's continue our adventure where we left off. We're in the Rome Hotel. <coughs> All right, so let's see if we can ask Simon some questions. Maybe we can get some information. Let's take some notes. Renzi performs at Teatro Manzone. Murdered priest was named Thomas Ryan. Not a, a very Italian name. Murder took place at Piazza Miganella. All right, that's something to work with. Okay, let's save our progress. Anything we can ask our your friend Simon? Man, it's cold outside. Which is exactly why I'm in here doing the research and letting you go run around out there. You're a true friend, Simon. Yeah. Yes, I am. Doing the work in the office while well, Ben Jordan is on the case outside. Got a minute, Simon? Certainly. Research. Do you think you could look something up for me? Sure, what do you need? I don't need to research anything else. That's all for now. Right. Yeah, we've done enough research for now. All right, anything in our in our um, inventory? No, nothing so far. Nothing in the notepad. So let's uh, let's go outside and do some investigating. Bye, Simon. I'll be back soon. Try not to run into any ghosts and monsters out there. We'll do our, do our best, uh, Ben, um, Simon, to avoid them. All right, San Silvestro and Capete Police Station crime scene. Let's go to the crime scene. Chalk outline. <clears throat> Some dry blood is on the street, seemingly having come from the victim's chest area. Some red and white police tape lies on the ground, having been broken by someone or something. Hmm. Paper. There seems to be a small piece of paper on the, s on the stoop by the door. A massive oak door is built to the side of the building. That's what's in this notepad. Piece of paper. Upon closer infection, you, the paper appears to be a business card. You pick it up. <coughs> Alright, what does the business card say? It's the business card of Detective Renato Silvio of the Polizia di Stato. There is a fuzzy black and white photograph of him on it. The card feels crisp and new. It must have been printed recently. Save progress as crime scene. <coughs> okay. Hey, what's this door here? The door has no visible handle. It must only open from the inside. Can't reach the lamp. All right. Well, this notepad. This, you don't want to mess up with the police tape. Someone might pass by and think it, you were, it is you who broke in for the first place. It's okay. Let's move on here. Get out of here. No, whoa, 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 whoa. You don't think about covering the outline would be a very smart thing to do. How about using the notepad on the outline? Can we use that?
doesn't seem to work. Blood, no. Alright, there's nothing else you can do here. Go at the note, go at the piece of paper, the business card. Uh, San Silvestro in Capiti. 